what's up guys welcome back to the channel and i guess i'm gonna start a new series of why does my chiller sound like that but we got a new daikin agz air cooled chiller and uh just gonna take you around it point out the obvious stuff and uh introduce myself and you to this chiller uh, this was replacing an old train stealth chiller that we had in here they uh, finally gave up the ghost and they decided to use the Daikin. So there we go. First thing I notice, really nice touch screen interface. Uh, also we have an alarm here. Low evaporator pressure on January 7th. That's uh, almost a week ago. Let's get out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down so you can probably hear me better. Denied. Nope, that's wrong. Try it again. Twenty. There you go. That's better. All right. First thing I noticed: those pumps stopped immediately when this thing shut down. Um. Let's see what we can do here. Our alarm was low pressure. Um, this chiller did come with, they bought an extended warranty, 10 years. So I'm not gonna get too heavily involved. Let's see how we, let's clear the alarm. See you later. Come back home. Obviously we had a pretty light load. It's been raining today. You see the outdoor temperature, so they won't notice if it's off for a little bit. So let's take a walk around. We got uh, scroll compressors, R32, broken disconnect. So it looks like three compressors for circuit one, three for circuit two. We had our uh, micro channel coils. Looks like they're epoxy coated. Uh, I believe they call this the Trailblazer series. Pretty basic, just straight cool. Um, we don't do any crazy stuff with this. It's just cooling off uh, one large building, three floors, and a uh, whole bunch of rooms inside. They still gotta come back and do pipe insulation, then our strainer. Looks like they piped it. Correctly, we have two pumps here that alternate shut off valves. We got our, if we need a cow out here, valves, correctly marked water pipes. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, looks like, yep, the thermal flow switch uh, these compressors are variable speed um, they have 10 condenser fan motors that are also ECM variable speed motors that's a 460 volt machine and uh, I think it's a good upgrade from what we had um, They've been averaging about 10 years at this site for chillers. So we'll see how, if we get 10 more years out of this, uh, I may or may not be here still. One thing I don't really care for, all those exposed wires. I mean, the, the rats are gonna love it. They got more to chew on now. All right, so overall it looks like a pretty simple chiller. Um, why was it making that snoring noise? I don't know. Uh, first time hearing that it, it looks like uh, you could see how it was flashing through the uh, electronic expansion valve there in the beginning so looks like the flashing was corresponding with the noise uh, is it just because it's a low load condition I'm assuming but uh, like I said this one's new to me just checking it out for the first time uh, since they've installed it and like I said, they still got to come back and tidy up 
pipe insulation. Looks like we're anchored down. And I guess daikin has got to come back, change out that disconnect. So that's it. Let's see what we can get into here. Circuit one. Gives you your three compressors. I guess you can reset them individually. Let's go back. Uh, condenser fans. It lists all your fans individually. Pretty cool. This seems a, a lot easier to navigate than previous Microtech. Circuit two. Let's see what set points are. Go back. This is way easier. Very cool. Go back. Come on now. Condenser fans. So we got four on this one. Looked like it was six on circuit one, if I was seeing that correctly. Yep, six fans on circuit one. I wonder how much those things cost. All right, let's turn the chiller bag on. little off. I think they probably have a screen protector on here. It might be affecting the, the touch there. Let's see if she starts up circuit one. what maintenance says. English. Chiller info. Got 1184 hours on it so far. That's on pump one. It ain't uh, not switching too easily. Waiting for load. Not gonna do that. And configuration. Not gonna do any of that. All right, still waiting for load. All right, while we're waiting for the load, let's just uh, check out some more of those set points. Cool set point was 44. Let's see what network brings us. Network enable is disabled. Capacity. We can change our temperature offsets. 
nothing's been offset there. Evaporator. Pressure switch settings. Condenser. Transformer temperature. And expansion valve, so you could manually open and close those. There we go. So it looks like evaporator pumps, they've only got, they got it stuck on pump one. Uh, I tried changing that. It didn't really uh, switch any pumps over. So just say I push pump two only. No change. So maybe they've only got it wired where it, it can't uh, switch over. So we'll do pump one only again. Leave it like we found it. All right. So it looked like it didn't come back on until leaving water temp got back up to uh, 59. Ooh, I'm getting sprayed. Looks like we're in circuit one because that was not running before. Circuit one. Yep. We got uh, one compressor running. Notice that one has uh, one larger compressor and two smaller. It's a 43 horse, 227s. Let's go back. And four condenser fan motors came on 30%. EXVs. 33%. So I'm wondering, maybe circuit one doesn't vary the speed on those compressors. I knew circuit two was. They're off right now, single speed. Maybe I was seeing things. Yeah, single speed. All right, maybe I stand corrected there. But anyways, there's our new uh, Dykin chiller. Looks like we're gonna be getting more of these in the fleet, so. Uh, just watch this thing load back up, make sure we're gonna be good to go. And uh, that's it, but pretty good looking chiller. I think it's probably uh, one of the better looking ones they've had out here. Definitely easy to access and looks like to work on. Don't know how it will be when it comes time to swap out one of those coils. Remember, this is the one that uh, threw the blade out and ran into that wall. And looks like, eh, they'll figure it out when that time comes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, uh, leave some comments. Like the video if you did, and if you want to see more of it. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. All right, Circuit 2 just came back on. We are 46% on the fan, so looks like definitely those compressors are just single speed and like I said, they just stage as needed. We got compressor number four is running. That's on stage, circuit one, two, or circuit two, circuit one. Still got compressor one running. 
All right, that's it, my final answer. <laughs>